What's your name? My name is Terry. Terry, my name is Hosea. All right. Let me ask you a question. What's your nationality? Hosea. Yes, sir. I'm listening to you. Yes, sir. All right. That's all over there. Okay, okay, that's fair enough. That's fair enough. If you hear anything that comes out, let me know if this is new to you, right? Okay. Because the so-called black men, so-called black women, we came on the shores of America by slave boats. A lot of people say, a lot of, of our people say that this Bible is a white man's book. But we are here to show you that this is not a white man's book. This is the Israelite man's book. That's right! You understand that? Read 46 again. Verse 46! This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 46. Uh -huh. And they shall be upon thee for a sign. So if you have the name of Johnson as your last name, the name of Harris as your last name, that is a curse. That is a curse. If you are getting shot down in the streets by the police and they're getting away with it, if you're getting shot down in the streets by your own brothers and sisters, that is a curse. If you don't have a father in your household and your mother has raised you by herself, that is a curse. That's right. You understand that? And these curses came upon us. In history, we have yokes of iron on our neck. That's right. And these curses follow from our forefathers, our foremothers, all the way up to today. Read on. And for a wonder, huh? and upon thy sea forever. You always wonder why, why all these bad things always happening to the so-called black man and black woman. Why? Because we are cursed people. We don't want to listen to God. Right. We want to do our own thing. God gave us specific rules to follow. Right. And if we break and go outside of those specific rules, then a curse was going to come upon us. Here's one of the curses. Give me 48. Verse 48. Huh? Therefore shall thy serve thy enemies. So we serve our enemies. The so-called white man is our enemy. Israelite man and woman. The so-called Arab man is our enemy. The so-called Chinese and Japanese man is our enemy. And it's evident because they are in our neighborhoods selling us poison on God's Sabbath day. They had us in chains and slavery, and they still do to this day. Read 48 from the top. Therefore shall, shall they serve thy enemies. Uh-huh. So therefore they shall serve our enemies. What's up? Psalms 91. Get, let's get that real quick. Hey, that's a good question. What's your name again, bro? Terry. Terry, right? All right, Psalms 91. So, Psalm, this whole Bible was written for the Israelites, by the Israelites, to the Israelites. Okay. By the finger of God, by his prophets. He, he put the spirit on the prophets of God to write this. For, and guess what? This right here is going to come to pass. Psalms 91. Read that. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 91, and verse 1. Read it out. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. So the secret place, let me ask you, Terry, what is that secret place? Okay, that secret place is these scriptures. And he, re right. he revealed all the secrets to the prophets. That's right. So for the fact that you asked that question, we're going to give you the answer for it. I just wanted to know if you knew because you brought up what the Psalms 91 go into. So read that again. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. So the word dwelleth means what? To live in it, right? To always be observing in it, to meditate therein. So if we keep dwelling in these scriptures, then we're going to be under the protection of the Most High God. You understand that? Because we're in the last days. A lot of trouble is about to come on this place. A lot of trouble has already come upon our people. Read on. Verse 2. Uh -huh. I will say, I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge uh -huh. and my fortress, uh -huh. my God, in Him I will trust. So we're supposed to what? Trust the Most High God and not dwell on our own understanding. We're supposed to keep everything in the scriptures. From the Old Testament to the Apocrypha to the New Testament. We're supposed to keep everything that is in these scriptures. And then, what? He'll become our refuge. Read on. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler. So, there's a lot of traps going on. That's what the word snare means. There's a trap. Did you vote? Did you know that that's also a trap according to the Bible? Bring it out. Because... According to Deuteronomy 17 and 15, we're not supposed to be voting. Not right. And also according to Proverbs 3.31, we're not supposed to envy our oppressor and do none of the things that he do. So that is a trap 
that was set by the fowler. And guess what? That fowler, he has a symbol called the eagle. That eagle is represented by Esau, the so-called white man. That's so he right. set this trap because we are in captivity under his rule right now. So he gave us what? Politics. He gave us what? His school system. Religion. All of these traps right here. So read that again from the, uh, from the top, verse 3. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snares of the fowler. So that's what we out here to do, to teach repentance. Once we have repented and start keeping these laws in the faith of Christ as an Israelite man, now we can escape from these traps. Now we can flee from that, flee from that sin. Because being in religion, being in his what? Seventh-day Adventist churches, Baptist churches, Islam, being in politics, whether if you're a Democrat or Republican, that is sin according to the Bible. That's right. Read on. And from the noisome's pestilence. So right now, what's that noisome's pestilence? COVID-19. Right? COVID-19. That is the loudest thing on the earth right now. That's one of the reasons why you have a mask on your face. But let me ask you this. One of the deadly viruses right now on the earth, why are they, why are they telling you to wear a cloth mask? But when you go to war, when you see those brothers going to war, they got on one of those big high-tech masks. Something that's, that's far less deadlier than COVID-19. So you got to understand that this man is setting traps just so you can catch COVID-19 and die. But if you keep the laws of God and the faith of Christ, That's right. you can escape from that. That's right. You understand that? Yeah. Read on. He shall cover thee with his feathers. Cover thee with who? His feathers. So now what? Once you start keeping the laws and the faith of Christ as an Israelite man, he's going to cover you with his feathers. He's going to cover you what? With his angels. He's going to cover you what? With his word. You understand that? He's going to make sure that you don't fall by that. Read on. And under his wings shall thy trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Because the word of God is our weapon. We are in a spiritual warfare. The truth is the laws of God. That's right. And that's our warfare. That's just how we fight right here. Because this is a spiritual war. Although there's a lot of uproar going with Trump losing the presidency. And you have Joe Biden as the president. There's a lot of uproar going on about that. You understand that? People are losing their jobs, losing their houses. There's a lot of uproar with that. There's a, lot of, there's a lot of hurt going on in people's lives right now. But guess what? That's why Psalms 91 exists. Because if you keep his laws, keep the truth, you're going to escape all of those things. Those things are going to be a covering for you. Read on. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrows that fly by day. Have you ever seen a missile before? You seen the movies where a missile will fly to another country? Or you'll see like Korea, they'll do a test on some missile in the ocean somewhere. Have you ever seen that before on TV? Terry? Right, so this is what this is going into, an arrow. When you look at a missile, examine a missile, that's that arrow that flies up. So there's destruction that was prophesied when you examine the book of Revelations 18. There's, a, there's destruction going to come on this place called Babylon the Great. That's right. Babylon the Great is going to be destroyed by missiles, by arrows. So you got to ask yourself, are you going to escape when those arrows come over here? The only way you can escape is if you repent as an Israelite man and start keeping the laws and the faith of Christ. That's right. right. You understand that, Terry? Read, read, that, read verse 5 again. Thou shalt not be afraid. For the terror by night. So we're not afraid. The men you see out here in purple and gold, we're not afraid at all. Why? Because we meditated on Psalms 91. We know the Most High God is going to be on our side. As long as we keep repenting and endure to the end. That's right. Because we have the faith of Christ. Bring it out. Read it again. Thou shalt not be afraid huh? for the terror by night. Huh? Nor for the arrow that flieth by day. So there's going to be a lot of terror going on at night. They're going to have curfews. People are going to, what, be tearing down buildings, burning down their communities. There's going to be a lot of stuff going on in this earth. There's going to be a lot of uh, tyranny going on. People are going to be lawless out here. Shootings, deaths, all of that. All that's going to be happening at night. Bring and guess up. what? When those missiles come, they're going to fly by day. That's what the scriptures say. Read verse 6. Nor for the pestilence that walketh. In darkness! Because this COVID-19, what, was created. Was created in labs by men, in darkness, in sin. That's what that is going to. So we're not afraid of the pestilence. You understand that? Why? Because we have coverage and refuge 
by keeping these laws in the faith of Christ. That's, That's right. right! You understand that? Read on. Nor for the destruction that wastes at noonday. So the destruction that wastes at noonday. Let's get a little bit more on that. We're going to read precept upon precept. Give me Isaiah 54. Isaiah 54. Give me the waster. All right, because that waste of that noonday, you got to understand, man, This every kingdom has failed. When you look at Rome, Rome failed. When you look at Persia, Persia failed. Egypt failed. Babylon failed. That's All right. of those nations, those empires failed. America is going to fall as well because the Bible says so. And we're all going to speak, thus says the Lord. Read that. Verse 16. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 54 and verse 16. Behold! I have created the smith in the blowing, the coals in the flyer. Because when you examine Proverbs 21, what? The hearts of men is in the God's hands. He turns it whichever way he wants to. So he created that scientist in the lab, what? To create these pestilence. To That's create right. these ICBMs, these nuclear bombs. Black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.